how's it going guys? Shio Shock here. And in today's video, I'm just going to be covering some more stuff about the Bravado Banshee 900R that I found out today. So, we all know in my last video I talked about it being the number one fastest car. But the thing is, it's a number one fastest car only in the straightaways. Because Rockstar has listened to the community and patched it and fixed it a little bit, but it's not going to be certain. Maybe. I'll tell you why. Because it's only been patched because of the performance wise and all that stuff. It's only being done by suspension and how it handles. That's the only thing that has been changed and somehow it has made the car slightly faster. So that's why it's put it into the number one drag strip car, technically. But along with all the other aspects to it, like drive, it's handling itself and turning around corners. If it was on a race where you need to turn corners a lot, it may possibly come last because half of the other supercars in the category have a lot better turning and handling to them so they can t take those tighter corners. Unlike this one, Unlike the Benji, it the corners, it doesn't take them that well. But also, Rockstar has just done a little, little fix up of it. Um, but it won't. It's not probably going to be permanent. Mainly because when it comes to fixing and all that type of stuff, they need to do it in an update. And since there has not been any new updates such as yet, they've only just done a little fix up. Like the tunables idea they have for when they bring out little add-on DLCs that come with along with the big DLCs. And also that's another thing I'll be touching on today. But first just getting through the this Bravado Banshee thing. But yes, it it's not probably gonna be the way it is, but for now it's gonna be staying like this until we get a new massive update. And that's when Rockstar will eventually probably fix it completely and then we'll see some maybe improvement more improvement or just less of an improvement just to make it fair enough for this in the game but that's all I know for the uh, sorry for the bravado banshee 900r but on to the next one as we know this DLC that just came out in January with all the new two new cars and the adversary modes there was also leaked stuff about the Valentine's DLC on it in the source code for this so Rockstar will be letting us get that Valentine's Day DLC as soon as it comes closer to Valentine's Day which is this month I believe and they're gonna do the same thing like they did with the Christmas surprise, they're just going to turn it on with the tunables thing they have now got. All they have to do is just literally just press a button or something like that, and next one we've got the DLC right there. But probably like last year and the year before that, the freaking Valentine's Day DLC probably won't be staying around for long. Along with the content that may be in it. Like there is a new Roosevelt Valor, and if you've got the first original one, I've seen pictures and all that stuff and some videos of the new one and it looks pretty alright. The customization completely different to the first one. I I myself do not have the first one and I might think about just buying the first one because the new one is range costing around a million dollars close to it. 900 Sonic dollars. 900,000. Sorry, I didn't mean 100, but 9,000, 900,000 Sonic dollars. So. It's about close to a million I've seen, so they could change it as soon as it gets to it and all that stuff. They could change, but yes, um, who knows? We'll find out hopefully um, coming with the Valentine's DLC. But also with the new Valentine's DLC, we are getting some new adversary modes. One is called Rhino Hunt, and the other one is Will Be My Valentine's. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't have more information on what they possibly could be, but that's all I know so far for the names of the new adversary modes. Um, but yes, other than that, some minor changes as we can see with the Bravado Banshee, but they probably are not going to be permanent, so don't get your hopes up. 
Like, I got my hopes up yesterday when I found out about it. I'm like, oh, yes, finally got the fastest straight supercar. And I, next minute, I hear this information and I'm like, oh, no, no. But who knows? Rockstar could keep it like this. But we will have to find out in the days to come. Maybe even weeks. Who knows how long? Because I only need to fix it in the next big update. But that's all I've got for you for now, guys. Um, if you're new to my channel and you like videos such as this one, please subscribe to me. And also, if you enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you could just drop a like down below. And that'd be helping me out a lot. But until next time, have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Is that amazing? <laughs>